What's going on guys? Brandon here coming after another video today. Got another story from my teenage years this time and the time that I almost was set on fire and it would have been bad. It would have been really bad. I'm talking never look the same, third degree burns on every inch of my body, bad. So one night, me and my buddies were all hanging out, drinking, having a good time, and we hear about this party out at a friend of ours camp. So we decided that we were going to find ourselves a DD and get a ride out to this party and hang out there. So we find ourselves a ride, we get out there, we get out of the car, my buddy gets my wheelchair out, and I get in, and the fire is a good 200, 300 feet away. It's like way down this hill, and um, he's pushing me down the hill. Now, by this point, we're, we're really drunk, I ain't gonna lie. I don't recommend drinking if you're underage whatsoever. This is just stories from my life doesn't mean that you should follow in suit and you drink yourself if you're underage I don't recommend it but anyways he's pushing me down this hill my buddies running next to us we're laughing having a good old time when all of a sudden my buddy just face plants right into the ground and I'm talking we're going full bore like my buddy Andrew was pushing me as fast as he could possibly run and when I seen him face plant we both looked back and started laughing our asses off and I kept laughing and heading towards this fire full bore like I said didn't slow down one bit honestly felt like we picked up speed I'm still laughing coming towards this fire thinking that the closer we get, you know, my buddy Andrew is just messing with me, and he's going to stop at the last second. That's not what happened. Little did I know, when my buddy face planted into the ground, my buddy Andrew, who was pushing me, let go. He let go of me, so I'm just heading straight at this fire, not knowing that I have nobody to stop me. At the very last second, no lie about an inch away from the fire I'm so messed up that I don't even realize you know I'm still laughing and it all happened so fast thank God my boy Zim turned around and seen me coming because at the last second he grabbed the front of my wheelchair and ripped me around like a 180 as fast as I've ever done one I almost fell out of my chair I ripped around so fast but if it wouldn't have been for him you guys I would not be the same person I am today, look-wise. I might not even have lived, who knows. Like, this fire was massive. We were using wood pallets, and it was a good 15 feet in diameter. Like, this thing was massive, and it was burning hot. Like, I am so thankful and lucky to him at the time. Like, he was like, oh my god, he's like, what were you doing? He's like, why were you going straight for that damn fire and not stopping? And I told him, I was like, dude, I thought Andrew had a hold of me and was just going to stop last second. Thank God that you looked back. And he's like, no shit, eh? He's like, you would have been completely done for, bro. He's like, damn, you almost gave me a freaking heart attack. We laughed it off afterwards, and my buddy Andrew came up, and he didn't know what happened. And I told him, and he's like, he felt bad. He's like, oh my God, man. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, I thought you knew that I let go and I was like I had no idea lucky for me Zim was paying attention or I would have been toasted my buddy Dewey the one that face planted came up and he got us laughing even harder because he still had grass and dirt stuck in his glasses from when he face planted what ended up happening with him is there was a log laid out in the grass and it was pitch black so we didn't see it and yeah that's what tripped him up and gave him the face digger that part of the whole thing was the funniest part of it all because if you could have seen how hard he planted if he wouldn't have been buzzed up yeah that would have been one of those
moments that you wouldn't have been getting up for a long time, that's for damn sure. Because he hit so unbelievably hard. But that's going to be it for this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.